Good morning and welcome back to Coach's Corner for the full discussion about why I believe that unfortunately public school baseball uh, will die and if I die of old age it will die before me. I truly believe that. Uh, I believe that there are three reasons for that. Uh, first and foremost, uh, a standard talking point about uh, public school in general is funding revenue and I believe that's issue number one for the future of baseball. Uh, baseball does not generate uh, a steady stream of revenue for all public schools like football does. In football and public schools, you can be 0 and 15 and still generate a massive amount of revenue for your program. Uh, in baseball, there are communities that care nothing at all for baseball and you're, you're never going to have a fan base, admissions, ticket sales, anything like that, uh, concession sales, alumni donations, you name it. You're never going to have that steady stream of revenue to fund the necessary operations uh, for baseball. Therefore, you're going to rely on the public school institutions of football and basketball or whatever popular uh, sport that generates revenue for any given school is to help fund the baseball program and I'm not even here to say that those programs should help fund the other sports, okay? That's for a different topic. But because baseball will not have the share of collective funds that football and or basketball does, uh, sports, by the way, that don't have to make scheduling changes due to weather, for the most part. Uh, you will never have lights as a result of that lack of revenue in certain areas, particularly rural areas. And therefore, you're going to lose the opportunity to attract players, to play all of your games, to incorporate varsity and JV teams. Okay, that's reason number one. Reason number two is uh, the, the regulations being applied to public school baseball in most states that I'm aware of and in particular that's pitch counts which I've done a couple of videos and a couple of articles in relation to uh, as a separate issue but ultimately the pitch count issue is going to drive away JV baseball first I see it happening in our conference right now I see it happening in other conferences as you get to the state playoffs and I talk to other coaches outside of my region I see it in the email exchanges between coaches across the state, be it 1A through 4A, whatever. Uh, if you have any chance at all of playing baseball uh, for four years, the varsity programs will take you uh, in hopes that they can develop you as an arm to eat pitches down the road and JV baseball players that may only be limited to one position or another that doesn't include a spot, a potential spot on the mound are forgotten about. They're left out to fend for themselves. Uh, that's going to continue to happen on a much larger scale and in fact I, I'm not going to be surprised if it happens to our program uh, not even, pro probably not this year but probably next year and uh, it's a, it's a decision that many coaches across rural areas, small town baseball programs are going to start uh, facing and, and making that decision sooner rather than later. Uh, the third reason is umpires, which also has to do with regulatory issues, okay? I see this regularly. There are complaints from different districts, not just my state, uh, about a lack of umpire interest, okay, in, in public schools. I'll, I have a question about this that, that public school baseball needs to address, needs to answer. Why is it that travel baseball has no issue, no shortages with umpires? I have an answer for that. It's over-regulation of public school baseball, period. Travel baseball umpires do not have to deal with uh, a certain set of regulations like the pitch counts. Um, they do not have to deal with over-regulating coaches in terms of uh, behavior, uh, paperwork, 
including pitch count paperwork, uh, third base coach helmet rules, things like that, nitpicky kind of stuff that travel baseball umpires don't have to deal with. If a coach behaves poorly during the course of a game in travel baseball, you eject him, you don't have to worry about anything else. If you eject a player or a coach, even an assistant coach, at any point during a game as an umpire in public school baseball, at least in North Carolina, you're going to have to file a series of paperwork, emails, it's going to be have to be a written set of things that have to happen. It's an annoyance. And it's not just, hey, this coach was acting in poor taste, throw him out, move on with your life, play the rest of the baseball games out over the course of a weekend. That's not how that works. And it's an annoyance to public uh, school officiating. The second part of that is the fan base. In travel baseball, there is no such thing as uneducated fans. Yeah, you have unruly fans just like any other sport at any other venue. Um, but you don't have a really low educated, in terms of the specific sport, uh, fan base at any of those events. None of them, okay? In public school officiating, you're going to end up with a set of parents, inevitably, with baseball, particularly in rural areas, that have no idea about the rules of the game. Substitution rules, uh, out and safe rules, balk rules, you name it. Fans are uneducated in rural baseball public setting, okay? As a result of the lack of baseball intelligence, baseball education amongst that fan base, you're going to have more violent, uh, unnecessary, rude, inappropriate, profane language directed towards umpires simply because fans, the, these parents don't understand the game. They're not around it year-round, and they don't have any idea of what the rules are, what they aren't, what different things about the game, different aspects of the game are in terms of uh, pitches being balls and strikes, uh, balks especially. You just don't, there's, there's a massive lack of understanding as compared to the travel baseball where these kids are playing year-round and just by being at those sporting events more regularly throughout the year, you have a much more educated fan base that's less likely to yell at things that there's no reason that everybody in the baseball world understands perfectly. It's not just, oh, he was out, oh, he was safe, bang, bang, calls. It's a lack of understanding of what the rules actually are, and that's a problem. For those three reasons, I firmly believe that, uh, especially with the pitch counts and the umpire situations, uh, you're going to start losing participation in public school baseball altogether. It'll start with JVs, that's already happening. It will spread to varsity programs, especially in the rural areas that have the third one, the limited funding, the limited revenue. Uh, baseball at all levels pretty much is going to have a limited, limited revenue stream compared to football programs, but it's going to play a much sig more significant ro role in the elimination of public school baseball in rural areas. I hope that those of you who are subscribing to this, I know that many of you are, are diehard baseball fans, I hope that you'll uh, get out in front of this, you know, talk to the people in your communities, especially if you're rural, and uh, have these discussions, promote this as a, as a baseball fan. These things are going to happen, and uh, public school baseball is going to die out because of this. I firmly believe that, as bad as I hate to say it. Love my sport. Travel ball's the way. Have a great day.